إن الحمد لله نحمده تعالى ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهدي ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وبعد Indeed, our praise is due to Allah. We praise and we beseech and we seek His forgiveness. We seek refuge with Allah from the evilness of our own souls and evilness of our actions. Whoever Allah has guided them, there's no one to mislead them. Whoever He has led astray, there's no guide for them. I publicly bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. He is one and doesn't have any partners. As I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is His servant and His final messenger. As for what follows, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر. Allah سبحانه وتعالى says in سورة العصر the translation thereof and by time, indeed, mankind is in utter ruin and loss, except for those who believe and do righteous deeds, except for those who believed and do righteous de- and did righteous deeds and mutually have order one another with the truth and mutually order one another with patience. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing by time. Why? Because time is the, pu- is the period in our life where is waqtul ribh is the period of time where we earn profit for ourselves or it's the period of time that we earn khasara loss or destruction for ourselves there is no in between that and so for that reason it is important for the mu'min for the believer and yutajiru bi rabbihi tijaratan rabiha it is incumbent upon the believer that he engage into a business transaction, a commerce with his Lord, that which will be profitable for him. Like this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us as he tells us in the Quran, الَّذِينَ يَتْنُونَ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ and those, who recite the, if we, and those who recite and follow the book of Allah. وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةَ And they established the prayer. وَأَنْفَقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقَنَاهُمْ And they spend from that which we have given them or provided for them. سِرًّا وَعَلَانِيَةً Secretly and publicly. يَرْجُونَ تِجَارَةً لَنْ تَبُورَ That they, through this, these transactions, they are hoping for a commerce with their Lord that will never ever be destroyed or cease. It's a prophet that's inevitable. It's a prophet that will not ever be lost. Alhamdulillah. So this is the transaction that the believer has with his Lord. And so Allah Ta'ala says for those believers who strive to achieve this commerce. لِيُوَفِّيَهُمْ أُجُورَهُمْ they do this in order that Allah may fulfill their reward in his full capacity. And in order that he may increase them from his bounty. Verily, he is the one who often show forgiveness. And the most grateful for those, the, most, the, more, the one who shows the greatest gratitude. So like this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is what he does for the believer in his time frame of his life. Whereas the Kafir, the non-Muslim, 
He's in heedlessness in relation to this commerce, this tijara, this transaction with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rather he's munghamisun fi shahwatihi wa ladhati. Rather he's in cut, he toppled over in his entertainment and in his whims and desires and fulfilling them. He lives his life not knowing this commerce, not being aware of it. And he stays in this state Hatta idha jaa'a ahadahumul, ahadahumul mawt They stay in this state until comes to one of them death Qala rabbir ji'oon And he says, oh my lord, I beg you to return me back to the earth La'alli a'malu saliha In order that I may do righteous deeds In order that I may do righteous deeds Fima tarak From what I already for the things that I've left behind myself. But Allah, hey hat to hey hat. Allah will never give him that. Far fetch that will ever happen to anyone who dies, anyone who goes back to their Lord. Rather, their situation is the reality of what Allah who Ta'ala says will happen to the disbeliever who lived that life, not taking advantage of that period of time of his lifespan. Wahum yastari khuna fiha and they are immersed into that hellfire, burning therein, saying to Rabbana Akhrijna Na'mal Saliha, saying, Oh our Lord, take us out of this hellfire in order that we can do righteous deeds. That is opposite of what we used to do before. That is opposite of what we used to do before. And Allah Ta'ala says that they say, Allah will say, أَوَلَمْ نُعَمِّرْكُمْ مَا يَتَذَكَّرُ فِي Did we not fulfill your life with that which will remind, that reminded you of this day? مَنْ تَذَكَّرَ So that those who want to reflect and take admonition will take it. وَجَاءَكُمُ النَّذِيرُ And did not come to you a warner. فَذُوقُوا فَمَا لِلظَّالِمِينَ مِن نَصِيرٌ So taste this punishment now because there is not for the wrongdoers that was in the worldly life any helper this day. May Allah protect us from the hellfire. قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى Allah the Exalted He says in this book قَالَ كَمْ لَبِثْتُمْ That He will say to them Say to them They will say well, The Prophet will, uh, will be said to them How long do you think you tarried on the earth? After being in the hellfire, after being in the barzakh, they will say, Kem labithtum. How long do you think you tarried when you was on the earth? Adad this sinin, the years that you tarried on it, in it, in this world, in that worldly life. Qalu, they will say to Allah, Ladithna yawm and awba da yawm. We only live the day or part of a day. After they compare the longevity, longevity of the time they spent in that grave, it's going to seem like them it was only a day. Or part of a day that they was on this earth. This is Allah reminding us. The time you think you got this long is really short. It's really short, brothers and sisters in Islam. The Kufar would say, Qalu yawmin aw yawm. They said we remained in the earth a day or part of a day. Fas'alil adin. So go ask. Those people who transgress the bounds. Go ask them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Qala in labithtum illa qalila. Say to them, you only tarried in the earth but a little time. Law anna kum kuntum ta'alamun. And if only you but knew and realized that. Realize what, brothers and sisters in Islam? Kisrul al qati fi had al ard. The real short period of time that we spend on this earth. So you either making it. Rumurun Rabih or Rumurun Khasir. You either making it a period of time or a lifespan that's profitable, or you making it a period of time and a lifespan that is destructive and lost for you in the next life. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says again, Law Annakum Kuntum Ta'lamu. And if only you realize. The shortness of your lifespan. And then Allah Ta'ala says to him, Do you think that we created you in joy and play without purpose? And you are not going to return back to us? Surah Al-Mu'minun. 
Like this, Allah is relearning us, brothers. Don't waste your time in this life. For that reason, Al-Hasan Al-Basri, Rahimahullah, he said about Surah Al-Asr, إِنَّمَا أَقْسَمَ بِهَادَ الْوَقْتِ تَنْبِيهِنَ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ الْأَسْوَاقِ لِهَذِ هَذِهِ الدُّنْيَا أَسْوَاقِ لِأَنَّهَا لِأَنَّ تَنْبِيهِنَ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ الْأَسْوَاقَ قَدَّنَا وَقْتُ انْقِطَاعِهَا وَانْتِهَاءِ التِّجَارَةِ وَالْكَسْبِ وَالْكَسْبِ فِيهَا فَإِذَا لَمْ تَكْتَسِبُوا دَخَلْتَ الدَّارَ وَطَافَ الْعِيَالُ وَعَلَيْكَ يَسْأَلُكَ كُلَّ أَحَدٍ مَا هُوَ حَقُّهُ فَحِينَ إِذَنْ تَخْجَلْ فَتَكُونُ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ فَهَكَذَا نَقُولُ وَالْعَصْرِ أي عصر الدنيا قدنت القيامة وأنت بعد, بعد لم تستعد وتعلم أنك تستسأل غدا عن النعيم الذي كنت فيه في دنيا وتسأل في معاملتك مع الخلق كل أحد من المظلومين يدعي ما عليك فإذا أنت خاسر ونذيره قوله تعالى اقترب, اقترب للناس حسابهم وهم في غفلة معرضون Hassan al-Basri rahimahu Allah said about Surah al-Asr that here Allah is swearing by time because time is nothing more than an attention and focus being placed upon the marketplace in which we are doing in this life. Many earned our deeds. It's a commerce. So it's like being in a market. That that time period in that market, meaning this dunya, is short and the end of it is near. The ceasing of it is near. The ending of your commerce with your Lord is ending. Your earning of your deeds is in, with good and bad in it is ending. So if you did not earn and you enter the abode of the next life and then your family comes around you and they hereafter and ask you for every single thing that which they had over you as a right and at that time you will be embarrassed and you will say, I am for, you will say, you are from the losers. Like this we say. So time, time what time? The time in the dunya. The time in the dunya is close to you as the day of judgment. And you afterwards didn't prepare. <coughs> you didn't prepare. You didn't realize. You didn't understand. And then when you're questioned about your dealings and transactions with the creation, each one of you, each one of them, Kulu Ahadamin and Mazlumi, every one of those who were oppressed or will make their claim against you, and you will lose. And what is equivalent to that is this he says, Hassan al Basri is the statement of Allah. The last hour has come near to mankind, or the reckoning of man has come near while they are in a, in a state of heedlessness, turning away from Allah's commandments and prohibitions. So brothers and sisters in Islam, take advantage of this time. Take advantage of this, your time frame in this life. Because this life is going to cease. This commerce that you are engaging in, with your time frame in your life, be in this life. Kun bakhirin bi waktik. Be stingy with your time in your life, like ke bakhirin bi man, like a stingy person is with his own wealth. Be stingier than that, because your most precious wealth is your lifespan. Your most precious commodity and wealth you have is your time frame of your life. So are you engage into this commerce with your Lord. And leave off those who do not see this reality. As Allah commands us, leave الَّذِينَ تَخَذُوا دِينَهُمْ لَهْوَى Those who have taken a religion as nothing but entertainment or whims and desires. وَلَعِبَى And they have taken their religion as a joke. وَغَرَّتْهُمُ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا Those who've been deceived by this worldly life. فَالْيَوْمَ نَنْسَاهُمْ Allah says, for this day, meaning the day of judgment, we will forget them. Just like they forgot their meeting with their Lord this day. He's going to forget them and helping them and aiding them and saving them. And they were those who overt in relation to our verses and lessons and signs in the Quran and in the Sunnah, they rejected it. Is this you, brothers and sisters in Islam? So busy yourself with obedience to Allah. Busy your time frame in your life 
with staying away from sins and disobedience and even things that would be permissible that brings you no benefit. Don't waste your time on those things for your lifespan is short. Life is going to end. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu aw yuhu bilib la tulhikum amwalukum wa la awladukum an dhikrillah Let not distract you or entertain you away from the remembrance of Allah, your wealth, nor your children Wa man yaf'al dhalika minkum faqad dalla sawa as-sabeel Fa ula'ika humul khasirun Allah Ta'ala says, and those from amongst you who do that they are from those who will be from the losers. And spend from that which we provide for you. Until comes to any one of you, or before comes to any one of you, death. And it gets to the point he says, Rabbi, oh my Lord, if only you can delay my lifespan. Just for a little short period of time. Just for a short period of time, for a sadaq, I will give a lot of charity. Wa akum mina salihin, and I'll be from the righteous. Wa lain yu akhir Allahu nafsan ida jaa ajluha. But never will Allah delay the up for any soul when comes to it is appointed time of death. He will never delay it. Wa Allahu khabirun bima ta'malun. And Allah is all aware of that which you do. هذا وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين بسم الله والحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه وبعد The Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم in a hadith in a hadith عن ابن عباس رضي الله عنه he said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said to a man he was admonishing لرجل يعيه for a man he was giving admonishment to اغتنم خمس قبل خمس take advantage of five things before five things happen شبابك قبل هرمك your youth before old age وصحتك قبل سقمك your good well-being and health before sickness and illness. And your, your richness and independency before you become impoverished and in need. And your free time before you're busy. And your life before death. Al-Hadith, so the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is informing us, brothers and sisters in Islam, that the human being will be questioned about his lifespan or her lifespan and what did they do with it as the hadith of ibn mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu he narrated on the authority of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he said la tazulu qadam ibn adam yawm al qiyamah that will never cease being held account taking account the two feet of adam to the day of judgment Hatta yus'al until he's questioned on khamsin about five things. Wa an malihi min aina ktesaba on the wealth that he has, how did he earn it? He will be questioned then. He will be questioned on the wealth that he has and how did he earn it? And he will be questioned about umrihi fima afna. He will be questioned about his lifespan and how did he spend it? Wa an shababihi fima abla and his young, his youthfulness and that which he let it become become old wood. Wa an malihi min ainak tasaba and his wealth and how he earned it. Wa fima an fakan how he spent it. He will be questioned. Wa mada amila fima alim and how well did he implement what did he that which he knows? How well did he implement that which he knows? And this hadith is narrated by Imam al Tirmidhi in the Sahih. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna al insan la fi khusr, indeed mankind is in other loss. This is Allah responding to him swearing by time that indeed all of mankind is in other loss and destruction. And this is a response to Allah saying that that khusran, that loss is what? Ida'atul ra'as al mal, wasting away your greatest wealth, wasting away your lifespan and your time. For verily the one who does that khusira khusran in mubina, he has completely clearly lost every good for himself because the time that you have is imma is something that 
you dispose of in either ma'asiyah, that which is disobedience to Allah, or you do it in spending your time in that which is mubah. And spending it in that which is disobedience to Allah is destruction for us. Spending it in something also that is just permissible, meaning it's permissible, but you get no reward for it, or no sin, then that's destruction also. Why? Why is that still khusran? Why is that still utter loss and destruction? Because you busy yourself with that which will have no effect for you, Yom Al-Qiyamah. It won't reward you, nor will you lose any, you will not have no sins upon you. You did nothing but waste that time, and you're going to regret it that you didn't use it to make that scale heavier, Yom Al-Qiyamah. When that time frame could have been something that you took advantage of it to earn a good deed so it could have effects for you in the next life. You could have used that time as some acts of obedience to Allah. And this is the reality. Because whatever you, if you spend that time in obedience and staying away from sin and doing the good, then that becomes a dhukhra. It becomes something safe for you that you're going to see, like an investment. Like we understand investing in something that you're going to profit from later. It's an investment that you didn't waste, even if it was for a moment's period of time. It's some birr, it's some piety that you're going to see again soon in the next life. Because, brothers and sisters, coming yawm al qiyamah, when the day of judgment come, it is a day that Allah says, yawm la yanfa'u malun wa la banun. It is a day that wealth will not benefit you nor your children. إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِمْ Except the one who comes to Allah with a heart that's submissive, a heart that's safe and sound from sins and disobedience. Like this. So Allah Ta'ala has made a judgment in Surah Al-Asr upon mankind of destruction and ruin generally for, generalized over all of mankind. And then he gave the exception. What? The, except those who believe and do righteous deeds. And those who order each other with the truth, call one another to the truth. Those who order one another with being patient with the harm that happens in learning and practicing the deen. And calling one another to the truth and commanding each other for the good, with the good and forbidding from the harm. Being patient with the harm, but it don't stop you from doing these things. For, Abu Hurair, for this is the importance for us to understand that these, these are the only exceptions, these four things. Those who have who busy themselves with knowledge and practicing of that knowledge, who busy themselves with sharing in this deen and giving dawah to those that is around you. Because the one who has knowledge and he practices it, his love of what he, the benefits that he abstracting from what he practices makes him want to share it with others. He can't help it, so he calls to it. And he'd be patient with the harm because every harm is nothing but expiation of sins or raising and ranks and degrees with their Lord and their hereafter. And it will come back to them as a dhukhra, as something saved and as a reward. And with that, we close the khutbah with the statement of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to remind us of the importance of not wasting our time and not on that which is haram or that which is permissible but it don't give you no reward. It's the statement in the hadith narrated by Abi Huraira ta radiyallahu ta'ala anhu where the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Kulla salama min nasi alayhi sadaqa that every member of the body of, of, the, of mankind has over it a right of charity. Upon it is a charity. Every single day that the sun rises, this right of giving charity with the limbs of the body is upon him. Being fair between two people is charity. That every time you help a person upon his, in his car, upon his riding beast, or you help carry their luggage or raise them their, their luggage or their carry-ons onto their means of vehicle is a charity. Saying a good words is charity. And every footstep you step to the masjid to pray is sadaqa. And removing something harmful from the road is sadaqa. The doors of good is many. How can we waste our time? How can we put ourselves in this state of utter loss and destruction? For that reason, Abu Dhar narrated that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Yusbihu ala kulli salama min ahadikum sadaqa. Every morning, 
upon the limbs of each one of you is charity. فَكُلُّ تَسْبِيحَةٍ sadaqa. Every time you say subhanallah is a charity. Every time you say alhamdulillah is a charity. Every time you say la ilaha illallah is a charity. Every time you say Allahu Akbar is a charity. And commanding what the good is charity. Forbidding the evil is charity. And what suffices a person over all of that? Raka'atani yurka'uhuma min ad duha Pray two rakats at the duha time. And that is 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes after the sun has risen. Pray to rakas will suffice all of that. Where are we at in regards to not wasting our time? You want to waste your time in that which is mubah? Say subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah. Don't busy it. Read the Quran. Don't waste your time on that which don't benefit you, brothers and sisters in this land. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the makers of those who hear the statements of Allah and His Messenger and follow them in the most excellent of manners. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the makers of those who hear the words of Allah and His Messenger and it increases them in obedience to Allah and His Messenger. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the makers of those who hear the statements of Allah and His Messenger and the Salaf and it increases us in staying away from disobedience. هذا وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وقيم الصلاة الله أكبر الله